Hello and welcome back to Mule 4 Learning Videos. I am Sivatan Kamani, a technical architect in MuleSoft. Today we are going to see some interesting as well as some complex concepts of sorting. Let's get started. So let's take a simple example of uh, uh, employees where it contains an array of uh, uh, JSON records with some uh, multiple fields. Let's say we have name, score and department ID and uh, we want to sort uh, this JSON based on the input criteria. Let's get started. Before we take a look at the sorting concept, let's introduce uh, transformation where we need to replicate the output JSON first. Let's make the response type JSON and uh, we will create employees as the uh, output array of records and we need to iterate input employees with a map. Let's uh, take the parameters data and index. And where we are going to uh, rename the input fields into something else instead of using the same field name. Let's say employee name will be data dot employee. Sorry, it's data dot name and uh, employee score is going to be data dot score and we replicated name and score now we need to replicate department ID we will give employee department ID from data dot department ID so let's save this let's get the application restarted and uh, let's check out the response. It's restarted. So now we got the same uh, records in a different field name. Um, so it follows the same order, Dravid, Sachin and Ganguly with the same data. Now let's add some complexity of uh, how to sort this. So uh, uh, it will be easy to sort uh, this JSON array directly by using a single field. But the complexity increases when you want to combine these fields. Uh, for example, when one field uh, has having e equal values, you want to have the secondary sorting. So first, let's start with a single field. So in order to achieve that, so we will have the map data covered in parentheses say order by and you have to use dollar dot uh, employee scope because uh, once the value is rendered with the different field name this dollar indicates the uh, content of array records and array records uh, is renamed so as an employee score and not score please ensure to use this uh, field in the resultant JSON and not uh, from the original JSON. Let's run and see the response. The application is restarted. Let's go to SOAP UI, run it. So now you can see the records are rearranged where you can see the score is 85, 399, 399. So, um, Employee score is deliberately made into equal values uh, 399, 399 so that we can demonstrate how it should work when the employee scores are equal then you want to sort based on the employee department ID. So let's go and uh, update the sorting criteria. Let's go to the transformation and uh, so now we need to concatenate uh, and introduce the secondary field 
called dollar dot employee department id so this is going to bring some surprises let's check it out so it, this the result will be confusing and then it will be difficult to understand uh, the structure but let's go slow so we have introduced uh, uh, two criteria and then the first one is employee score and when employee scores are equal then it will consider the secondary sorting id employee department id but here you see this score is uh, uh, sorted in a different uh, weird criteria first score is 399 399 and the last one is 85 it's supposed to be 85 399 399 let's add let's let's clarify on why this is happening so when we concatenate these two fields together um, of these both uh, numeric field so um, as a result uh, there is a sorting id is created this way let me copy this and put it in notepad plus plus so as a result of this it brings the value like this 39943 and then it says the next one is 3999 and then it brings uh, 851234 where we are not able to make uh, much sense of how it sorts because of these uh, integer values let's see how to tackle this let's go back to transformer and uh, we have to introduce uh, this this one I'll explain why we need to use this so in order to bring some consistency of this number or key fields to be sorted out uh, we are making this concatenation with this uh, uh, left padding of zeros by formatting the score and the ID so that it looks uh, with some consistency let's see how it works so we are going to make it uh, something like this and then uh, the 43 is going to be like this so that we have some consistent uh, format with a left uh, pad of 0 and we concatenate so the sorting criteria becomes uh, this number henceforth and the same thing here happening zero zero three nine nine and it's going to be zero 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 nine and this one is going to be zero 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 eight five and uh, followed by zero so please note that uh, numeric values must be left padded with zeros and the string values must be right padded with zeros but in this uh, scenario it demands to use this way so uh, i have applied the format and let's see the outcome The application is restarted. Let's check out the response. So we have deliberately renamed the field. So let's use the right field name. So I have corrected the field name. Let's check it out. So now you can see it's properly ordered. Let's check it out. The employee score is ordered by 85, 399, 399. And for these two records, uh, we have a secondary criteria applicable because uh, the scores are equal. So the secondary field follows correct order where employee department ID is 9 for the first record and 43 for the second record. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, Please like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, I will try to come up with another interesting topic soon. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for watching this video and uh, I'll come back with another interesting topic soon. Please don't forget to provide your suggestions in the comment section below and uh, see you soon. Bye.